Leslie Flint is the owner of Indigo Boutique and the apothecary at Indigo. Leslie, welcome. Nice to have you today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks so much for being here. You're located down in Meadville. Tell us a little bit about your business. So we originally started uh, in 2018, May of 2018, in a great little spot on Chestnut Street. Um, we are a religiously neutral, spiritually mm -hmm. inclusive boutique, meaning anybody with any spiritual practice should feel welcomed and supported in that space. Um, apparently a lot of people felt welcomed and a lot of people felt supported because mm. we had to move down to Market Street in a big building of our own. It's, it's a good problem, right? It's a good sign. Yeah, it was a great <laughs> sign. Yeah. Uh, so we moved down there in April of 2021. Mm. The community just loved it. We've been uh, very blessed by... Um, I mean, not just the community itself, but like affiliates of the community, right? So we're active members of the Chamber of mm -hmm. Commerce. We're part of the Meadville Independent Business Alliance, which is publicly known as Experience Meadville. We are active with the Crawford County Visitors Bureau. We do first Friday night events. Mm -hmm. We do second Saturday community markets. Like, it's great. It's yeah, great. Yeah, we hear so much about Meadville's yeah. growing and booming business downtown. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about what you can find inside your shop. So um, we are more commonly referred to as like a metaphysical shop, right? So we have crystals and candles mm -hmm. and incense. And the last I heard from my customers, I had one of the largest selections of crystals in the community, in the mm -hmm. area, which we're really excited. To and how did that. you become interested in this? So when I was a little girl, two things really tipped the scale for me. I wanted to be the crystal lady. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, my mother took me to the uh, flea market in Andover, and there was this really cool lady, and she had rings on all her fingers ah, and bracelets and big bracelets. hair. Yeah. yeah, and she was selling rocks, and I was like, this lady's living the life. <laughs> and I bought a piece of amethyst from her, which I still have, and I thought she was so great, and she was so kind, and she was so smart. And then um, there was another situation very similar. Um, we had picked up somebody on the side of the road that was kind of downtrodden, same kind of lady. She had rings and big hair, and she was carrying a bag with scarves, and I was like, this woman. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is my life. This goal. is what I want to be yeah. when I grow up. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, talk about what are some of the reactions to some of your first time customers when they come in. I mean, it's bright, it's beautiful. Yeah, so that is actually the most common reaction oh. is, wow, it's so nice in here. Mm. Oh, it's so bright in here. Um, a lot of shops that sell the same kinds of things um, are often like dark paint and dark, dark moody. Dark yeah. Yeah. And moody. Yeah, and we have a really lighthearted vibe because we want to be seen as spiritually inclusive, mm -hmm. right? So whatever your practice is, if it's mm -hmm. dark and moody or it's much lighter, come hang out. And what's the biggest misconception about mm -hmm. the type of products um, that you carry? That we're doing something we shouldn't, or mm -hmm. that we're doing something bad. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, I mean, I could go out in the yard and pick up a brick and a stick and be a bad person with a brick and a stick. <laughs> sure. But my rocks and herbs in the shop don't necessarily make me bad. It's mm -hmm. sort of like, you know, it's intention, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I love that. And I, it seems like you ha would be very knowledgeable for folks who perhaps don't have a lot of knowledge in this area and would like to come in and just kind of look around. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and I'm very quick to say, if I don't have the answer, let's find the right person. Person who does I so um, I am not a registered herbalist I have a little common knowledge about herbs if I can't answer the question I'll point you to the right person right mm -hmm. so that's kind of like our spot is to be the go-between if we don't have it let's find you the right person who does I love it and again where can you be found quickly we are at 945 Market Street okay. we're in um, a big brick building with bright purple paint out front you can't miss website all. social media so we're in the process of building a new website but our socials are at Indigo Meadville on TikTok, Instagram and Facebook mm. and we also have the apothecary at Indigo on um, Instagram and Perfect. Facebook